The objective of this session is to learn about how to construct conditional statement. Specifically, we will learn about simple conditional statement, chain conditional statement, and nested conditional statement. The generic form of a conditional statement, the keyword if, then a Boolean expression which evaluates to be true or false then colon is compulsory next a statement or a, or a group of statement this indentation of four spaces or tab is also compulsory then the keyword else colon and a group of statement or or a statement here also indentation is compulsory else statement is optional in condi conditional statement an example of conditional statement if temperature celsius is greater than 25 th this is a boolean expression if this evaluates to be true then it will print whether it's odd otherwise it will go to else statement and it will print whether it's not hot chain conditional like if if there are more than one condition to be tested chain condition should be used if temperature in Celsius is 25 print weather is hot this is else if el if el if temperature is greater than 15 print weather is moderate el if if temperature is greater than 10 then print whether it's nice else lastly if all the conditions are false this statement will be executed whether it's called nested conditional in this example you could see in the second line another condition is nested within the first condition if both of them are true then it will print x is divisible by both 2 and 3. It is, it is a better alternative to nested condition is to use compound boolean expression like in this case the same thing can be achieved using x modulo 2 equal to 0 and x modulo 3 equal to 0 then print x is divisible by both 2 and 3. Now let us move to python practical session here I have written code for a simple conditional statement. We start with a variable x. Here value 24 is assigned to variable x. Then this code is if x modulo 2 is 0, print even number, else print odd number. Let us run this code. So x is 24, so it is printing even number. Now we can change it to suppose 17 and we can run the statements once again. Now it is printing it is odd number. In the second example it is it is an example of chain conditional. Here also I have assigned value 9 to the variable temperature. Then we are testing if temperature is greater than 20 it is hot else if greater than 15 it is moderate if temperature is greater than 10 but less than equal to 15 it is nice else print cool now let us run this code it is saying it is cool because it is 9 is less than 10 we can test it with any value suppose we take it a value greater than 20 25 and let us run this code once again now it is printing it is hot now next example is the example of nested conditional here the second condition is nested within the first and we are running this code we have assigned the value 24 to variable x here Now x is 24 is divisible both by 2 and 3 so it is printed x is divisible by 2 and 3. 
Now suppose x is divisible by 2 only, then it will not print anything. It is not giving any output. Now lastly, the same thing can be achieved using the compound boolean expression here. I have used a compound boolean expression of three expressions. We are testing three expression and then let us run this code. As 30 is divisible by all the three elements 2, 3 and 5. So the output is x is divisible by 2, 3, 5. So what have you learned? We have learned about construction of conditional statement, simple conditional statement, chain conditional statement and finally nested conditional statement.